Hello, my name is Peter Entwistle and welcome to the second HTML5 tutorial. Okay, so on the last video when I uploaded it I realised the um, code wasn't easy to see on the YouTube screen. Um, I do apologise for that. So in these next tutorials that follow um, I'm going to make sure that I zoom into this code section when I'm typing anything in. Um, so to make sure that you can see it properly. Okay, so in this video um, I'm going to show you how to make a table um, and then I'm going to go on and explain about divs um, and then if we've got any time I might start CSS. Let's make a new file for this. So I'm just going to choose HTML, make sure it's HTML5, create of course, if you're in another text editor, like um, just text edit or um, notepad, just make a new document and then type in this skeleton. I'm just going to make this um, capitals. It doesn't really matter, but most people use the capitalized dot type. Um, so I'm just going to call this table. Um, so in the body section, you're going to type a table tag, like so, um, go down a line, and then close off the table tag. Okay, a table comprises of columns and rows. We need to make some table rows first. So we're going to type tr, and then close off that and put that on the line below. Now, to save some time, you're just going to copy that, and paste it three times. So now I've got four of these table row elements. Um, in the first table row, I'm going to make a um, table header. Um, so below this first table header, I'm going to copy and paste it, so we have two. Now I'm just going to quickly fill in these to demonstrate uh, what we'll have. So I'm going to put year in the first one, and salary in the second one. So as you can see, we now have these two boxes, essentially. Um, what says year and salary. Now on a browser um, there won't be any outline around it. Um, this little outline is just to um, make it easier to see different cells on Dreamweaver. Um, so these are the headings um, of the table. So of course we're going to need some information in this table. Um, first, I'm going to give the table a border of one pixel. So we type in border one pixel. Now this just gives it a bit of a border around it so we can see the table more clearly. In this second table row, we're going to have we're going to add a new cell, which the first one will be displayed below this year, and to make it a new um, table cell, we type TD, which stands for Table Data. So this is just the element that you use um, for a new piece of data, basically. So we do the same as we did with the table header. So in here, I'm going to put 2010. In this one, I'm going to put 20. So as you can see, it says 2010 and 20,000, and just to make it a little bit easier, we're going to put a pound sign in there. Of course you could use dollars, euros, anything. Okay, so we've now got this one bit of information in this table, so I'm going to do the same for the other uh, two that we've got here. Okay, so um, I've now just put in a few more bits of information and I'm going to 
add one more table row to the bottom of this table, uh, like so. So we now have another table row here, and in this one here, I'm going to put another table data element, and this one is going to be um, total, and that's going to be 66,000. So as you can see, um, this only goes below the first column, and we don't want it to do this. We want it to go right away across the two columns that we've got here. So to do that, all you need to do is add an attribute, and this one is col span, which is short for column span. And we type in here two, so this tells it to um, span across two columns. So now we get this um, going across both of the columns. And that is a very basic table. So I'm going to save this. And just like before, I'm going to call it table.html, save it in the YouTube folder, and then I'm going to open it in my browser. And there we go. Here's a table that we just created. Of course, you could um, use CSS to make the table look a lot better than it does here. Okay, so first before we go on to the next um, section, I just want to show you um, how you would do this if you had a program like text edit on Notepad. So I'm just going to copy this information here. Where's my text edit document? And then I'm just going to paste it in. Of course it doesn't look quite as neat and not it doesn't have any color coding in this basic text editor but the principle is just the same you just save it in the folder that you created and make sure it's on unicode utf8 and make sure you give it a .html extension type and save it And then it should give you the same, there we are, just refreshed, and it's exactly the same. So that was just to show you that it's exactly the same in a basic text editor, like text edit or notepad. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the div tag, and um, I'm going to explain why we use this tag. Okay, so going back to the index.html that we created in the first tutorial. I'm going to um, add a few div tags and then I'm going to explain why I'm using them. So the first one I'm creating is just going to go over the entire page. Um, I'm going to give this an ID attributes. Now I've not explained what an ID is yet, but basically it's just um, what you add to um, be able to use a CSS style on this individual div and I'll be able to show you more about that in the next tutorial. So I'm just going to call this um, page wrapper now that, I've called it page wrapper um, because this is going to be the div that the whole page is sat inside of. Now I'm going to have to indent all this into the div for making it um, easy to... Of course you could just highlight the whole thing and indent it. 
like that. Um, so that that is the closing div tag here, and that's where it opens. And it doesn't look any different except in Dreamweaver you get, just get this slight outline uh, of where the div is. Um, that doesn't display in the browser, but it's just to help you visualize it in Dreamweaver. Okay, so why would you want these divs? Basically, a div divides up the HTML page. So we use this to um, create different sections in the page. So you might want a header, and you might want a, a div that contains just the header information. You might also want a div that has the menu bar, div that has um, the content of the page, a div that has a picture in it, anything like that really. The reason we give the divs an ID is so that we can um, target this area in a CSS style sheet and give it specific, um, like, you can give it specific colours, um, places on the screen, anything like that. So basically it's just to help you target the CSS in that area. Um, you can also give them a class attribute, and a class attribute is more or less the same, except you can you'd use a class on a section that's going to be used more than once on the page, and an ID is for something that you're only going to use once. You can give an ID or a class attribute to most elements. In fact, it's probably, I think you can give them to all. Um, so I could give this paragraph tag a class. Um, I could call it para. And in CSS, I could give this specific paragraph or this these paragraphs with a class para. Um, a certain font or a certain colour or anything like that. Um, so that's why we create divs. So I'm just going to make a few more divs. We'll have it ready for the next tutorial. Okay, so I've now created a few more divs and give them all IDs. Um, so I'll just quickly explain them and um, show you explain why I've used them. Okay, the first one I created is this header div. This is going to be the header of the website. I'm going to put a header element here as well, um, which is a new HTML5 um, element. I've created this header div so we can have like a menu system and um, maybe a search facility if you need if you wanted one of them. Um, it's, it could have a logo, anything like that. Uh, a login, logout button. Um, so we're not going to do that now, but we've put that in place for future tutorials. This main div is going to contain everything on the page except the header. Um, this is the profile information because in this example I'm sort of made a little profile which doesn't look very good yet um, but we'll make it look better in the next tutorial and I give it an ID of profile info um, I have then created a profile pic div which just contains this profile picture I might move this, in fact, yeah, I'll move this to the first, the first part of the page here. And then I'm just going to tab that in there, move this line. So now it's moved the picture to the top. So I'm going to save this page and quickly view it on the browser. OK, 
Okay, so here it is. It looks just the same. Just to show you that it actually works in the Google Chrome. Right, so basically today we've gone over how to make a table and I've also gone over the dividing tag or the div tag and explained why we use IDs and in the next tutorial we'll go over CSS, the basics and how to target these specific IDs to make our page look better. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy these videos and I'll be back probably tomorrow.